Let's now take a problem on division for irrational numbers. Divide 8 under root 21 by 4 under root 3. Solution. Just like in case of normal numbers, what we do is 8 into under root 21. We divide it by other number. We also write simply here 4 into under root 3. Now, we know that under root 21 can also be written as under root 7 into under root 3. Why? Because square root of 21 is equal to square root of 7 into square root of 3. We say, or rather, under root 21 can be written as under root 7 into 3, which is equal to under root 7 into under root 3. This is the one of the properties of multiplication of irrational numbers. Applying this property here, we wrote this as 4 into under root 3. Now, under root 3 gets cancelled here. 4 goes into 8 two times. So, what are we left with? We are left with 2 into under root 7 is equal to 2 under root 7, which is the answer. So, therefore, we conclude that division for irrational number gives result to an irrational number. But is this correct? Is this statement correct? No, it is not correct. Let's say if instead of 4 under root 23, I would have had 4 under root 21. Then instead of this, I would have got 8 into under root 21 divided by 4 into under root 21. This would have got cancelled here. 4 goes into 8 two times. Well, I'm left with only 2. So therefore, division for irrational numbers could result in irrational or rational number. It can be both. Right? That's how you should be doing the division of irrational numbers by another 